What's up, my rock runners? It's your truly rock combo, aka the professor on the sticks, man. It just came out and it is awesome. So let's get into this. We got a rank match here. I'm the Buffalo Bills as my opponent just hits me over the top with uh, Colston, and so he is the New Orleans Saints. And this game, you know, I go into, I've gone into every single rank game, especially all these pre-release games, uh, with a goal in mind because me and Matt Hatter teamed up for the second time. If you don't already know, we teamed up and. Uh, came out with an offensive ebook. This year we we went to a custom book. Last year we did the Carolina offense explosion within the first week of the game, and that playbook just took flight. Everyone was running that was running that playbook because the Panther heavy was unbelievable, unstoppable. And then they patched it. Then everyone you know went over. A lot of people went over to New England for the most part. And so uh, you know me me and Matt Hatter decided to team up again for second edition. This time we did a custom playbook. We you know we went through the playbooks which going back and forth between a couple playbooks and then you know with the audible system the way that it is um, even if you have just a regular playbook you have to have a custom set your audible so we decided to go in a different direction and do a custom playbook I know that's not for everybody but you know uh, and you know whenever we decided to do that then we talked about you know not making like a super custom you know everyone complains about these super customs and you know I, I didn't want to come out in like a 15 million different formations with just a uh, you know one money play in this formation and another money play here uh, you know we do have a lot of money plays but there's uh, there's only we only have like seven formations you know and all of our shotgun formations you know it has three receivers running back and tight end and so you can cycle through them and it actually it, the, the scheme is put together so well look at that nice pick right there so we really did put together a scheme and really, uh, and so, then also we, we put some pistol in there and then a, an under center, like we have under center run heavy scheme and then we have some, you know, you can have a balanced attack and then, for example, we have a really, really pass heavy attack as well from one formation. It's just unbelievable. So, really there's every, you know, everything you can ask for. And look at me just being silly, getting loose with EJ Manuel and then uh, uh, throwing in the end zone. That's, <laughs> that was ridiculous how I ran back like that. But it, it worked out, so. What, what can you say, right? <coughs> so it's 14-14. He hits me over the top again. I'm telling you that this year's game so far, uh, just lob streaks are just absolutely ridiculous. Even if your guy, even if your opponent, uh, even if the defender's like on on the receiver's hip, you just lob it up there. Just it's just crazy how over effective that is this year. So you can't really press and not have deep, uh, deep safety, safeties over the top, or you're definitely going to get burnt. And so. This is the play I actually posted yesterday as, as a little tip with the best best route in Madden 25, I think. Uh, it really, really is. The only bad thing is that the other routes on the field aren't, you know, aren't that nice. So uh, you can just throw that play in there. You can just throw that a couple times a game, probably three or four. And it's going to be very, very successful. That's, it's a really tough route to stop. It kills man and also gets him in between the zones. And your, your uh, player just zooms in between everybody. It's awesome. You definitely want a fast guy there. So, uh, so you know, you know, we had we came out with I, th I think this ebook is awesome, man. Offense is unbelievable. So, if you want to check that, I'll be in the link in the description below. This game I came in and the actual sample play I posted earlier this morning. I actually did two plays. Uh, is this is this is what what I what I came up with uh, came out with for the sample play, and I decided to run it in this rank match. I just want to test it out, see what I think of it all, and it's very nice, man. I, I like it's easy reads. Uh, you have different throws from short to long, and then uh, you have an awesome user catch by the B receiver. You can you can utilize as well. So you know this Bills team is just super nice. And right there, I ran that play again, uh, that real nice glitchy B route. But my guy, of course, drops it. <clears throat> now I decided to run, run it again. Um, got a little little quick in the pocket. I should have stayed in the pocket. I don't know. You know, looking back, I don't know what I was doing. This was the worst kick in the world. Can it pay off though? And it does not look like it went in, but it actually did go in. So, so that was nice because I got the ball to start the second half. So I'm only down by four points. So it's 28 to 24 going into the third quarter. Uh, you know, this this game is I really like it. And okay, once again, I'm showing you the play art of this B receiver. Just look look how he just torches the, the zone defenders. And what's so nice about it is they catch it in stride. You can just go right through everything, and it's <laughs> just easy, quick touchdown. Like if you want one play touchdown, you need a one play touchdown. Uh, that's where I would go. I wouldn't be using that play the first play of the game, but just you know, sometime in the second quarter, throw it out there one time, maybe throw it out again, you know, in the third quarter, and you'll probably have a couple touchdowns out of it because it's very nice. It's pretty tough to stop. Um, as you see, hits me up to, over the top once again, and 
I don't know, man. So this game, defense is very tough. Uh, so just like most years, and this year it's even more tough because the running game is so effective. If you don't run the ball, you should definitely have at least one running formation uh, because running the ball, is, it's tough to stop the run, that's for sure. And what makes it tough to stop the run, because you can stop the run, but it's tough to stop the run and then have, have coverage up top, over over the top as well. So um, a lot of people run the ball or been running the ball this year. Man, come on now. You can't pass lead with that stuff outside as well. You know, it's just a definitely a different transition from last year. And then, whoop, see ya. <laughs> so I go up 38 to 35. This is, this is sending a little B-gap pressure right there. Second 20, I figured he was going to go a screen, so I put a contain on my DN on the right side. And now it's third and 24. I was debating if I should send the house or play a little bit of coverage defense. I decided just to get in a, in a cover four. He hits me with a curl route. So now it's only fourth and inches. But I get a block shed, and I was able to get a crucial stop right there. So looking definitely good, up by three at the, towards the end of the third quarter. I just need to get a touchdown right here. I'm starting to run the ball a little bit, uh, getting some nice yardage. So second and five, hit a nice block shed. Gosh, man, I guess block sheds work both ways, right? So now it's third and ten. I should have thrown to X. Um, bad read on my part. Had him on a smart route. I had him on a curl route for t first down, but just made the bad read. So I ended up having to take my points. So now I'm up by six points, uh, 41 to 35 with four and a half minutes left. He's dotting me up right here. Uh, once again, nice. I mean, he's on, he, this guy has pretty nice offense. You know, looking back, you know, he has a couple drag routes right there and a flat route and streak, and that's pretty nice. And then he threw in the screen. He finally got me with that screen pass, but I was able to, to dive tackle him. So second 17, he runs. I think that's a draw. I don't know what that is, a dive play or something. And it just torches me, man. That's so frustrating. Get him a sec second 17, just a simple... Uh, dive play just gets that first down. I'm telling you, dive plays in this game are, are pretty tough to stop. Send him with an A-gap. I'll be giving you all this A-gap probably probably the uh, next couple days. Uh, so, you know, I hit him two times with the A-gap, and then he hits me up on 4th and 15. I do not send the blitz again. So both times, every time I do not send the blitz, whenever it's 3rd and long or 4th and long, it has not, it's not paid off for me. I've been torched every single time. So I just need to start blitzing a little bit more. So he takes a one-point lead. I'll be giving you all out that A-gap here soon, you know, whenever I have time to probably make, an, make a tip video about it. So it's a, it's a very nice A-gap, and it's quick, too, to set up, which is the best thing about it. All right, so it's 42-41. to 41. I get in field goal range with that last throw, so now I'm just running the ball up, trying to waste the clock, uh, waste his timeouts, and this is for the game-winning field goal. And I'm going to get it. He ends up going offside. So I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. It went down to the wire. Uh, check out that offensive book in the description below. And if you haven't subscribed to me, you definitely need to bring you a lot of great Madden 25 content. I'll be seeing you on the sticks.